Hello Microsoft Word lovers, in today's video we're going to explore the browse feature in the file tab. You could find the file tab in your ribbon menu or I would just say your ribbon. You click file at the top left hand corner and then you go to your open tab and right beside it down to the middle here you see you have the browse folder now this browse folder reminds me of browsing the internet let's click browse and you'll see the open dialog box pop right up and it gives you access to your entire computer now there are an array of things that you could do within this dialog box which includes going back and forth from locations recent locations you can you can click the up arrow which just send you back to different parts of the computer until you go all the way to this pc and you can undo that by clicking the down arrow and then just going back in time or you could click the back button and just go back to where you came from or you could just do it from i like to call this the directory this little bar here you click the down arrow and if you're a genius like that you could type like a directory of where you would like to go in your PC. You know, that's a bit technical. I won't get it, get into that. And you could refresh what you just did. You could also search users. Now, right now, I'm the only user of this PC, so we won't get into that. With the search bar, you also search anywhere in your computer for Microsoft files or for files related to Microsoft Word. For example, you go to Documents, you click there, or you could click Downloads. And if you search downloads, you see either PV PDFs or Microsoft Word documents in the download folder. Right now, I have no Microsoft Word documents in the download folder, so we'll go to the document folder. Now, let's scroll to see what that type of documents we'd like to search for. So let's say we'd like to search for no hiring for notice boards. All we need to do is click in search documents, which would be our document folder and we just need to type no hiring for short and you click enter and it will find the file this will be very useful for persons whose pcs or document folders have massive amount of files so instead of searching for them manually by scrolling the way i just did you just do a quick search if you come across here under the left hand corner where it says organize you click beside organize now organize what let's go to our my documents folder and you see we have an array of folders and files so let's just click organize and let's just do select all so it selected all the files go back to organize let's just choose a different layout so we have details pane which just means that if you click one file it will show you what that file contains within it like the date it was created the size of it and so forth so this is a folder it's showing you the contents of the folder let's just click on a file let's just do commonwealth of pennsylvania so it shows you the name of the file, the file type, which would be Microsoft Word document, the size of that file. It's only just above 12 kilobytes in size and the date that it was modified. Let's go back to organize. We go back to layout. We could take that off. We could keep it on. We have the preview pane. Like if you click the file, it usually shows you what is within that file without opening the file. I'm not sure why it's not showing the contents of the file here. Maybe it's a, a glitch with my computer, but you get the gist. And let's come out of the organize feature and we go to new folder. If you click new folder, you get a new folder. Now, if you come down into the bottom here beneath organize, this is just a directory of what is on the pc that you own you have your home your gallery and the uh, drive that you're currently signed into now this is my account and when they say drive that you're signed into they're referring to your microsoft account now this is my microsoft account and then when you scroll down you have your desktop downloads 
your documents, pictures, music, video, every, this is your entire PC. Now you have your view type, which is at the top right hand corner of the dialog box. You click that. Um, you could do extra large icons. If you notice, everything is just super large. Or you could choose small icons. Or you could do list. Content. It's just whatever you prefer. Now, this one is the hide pane preview pane. You click that, it comes off. That entire section is removed. Now we come down here, we have our file name and our document type. We have our tools, map network drive, and we have our open and cancel buttons. And then of course we have our close button at the top. So this is all that the browse folder does in Microsoft Word under the file tab. And before you go anywhere, as long as you love Microsoft Word videos or if you're a Microsoft Word lover, feel free to subscribe to this channel, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.